Hello. This is the Doctor Plays Minecraft. In this episode, I am well. Basically, I am la oh, whoops, last video. I forgot to show you the uh, docking station right here, which is the door, basically. But I mean, I mean, I just had to. I was just fiddling around with some stuff, and then this idea just popped into my head. Now, you might know what this is, you might not, if you're a Doctor Who fan. I don't know. Okay, so if I do that, and then I go into F5, this might look a bit familiar, just let me... I came up with this idea when I was just fiddling around, and then I was like, Hey, we have our community ships installed. <laughs> so I decided, why don't I make a TARDIS? <laughs> so, yeah. Right here. I'm a Dalek. I'm a Dalek here, one second. I can't, there can't be a Dalek piloting the TARDIS. Mm -hmm. oh, I had some... Dun da 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 dun da 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 dun 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 dun. I can actually give it so that make it so that it's like spinning around in the uh, time vortex. But the problem is, is that it's slow. It's really slow because then I have to go forward and then I have to go backwards because then I would just be traveling in a circle. So basically, I would stop for a couple of seconds and then start to go backwards again. <coughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. You see the dial? Just starts to go that way again. Because, I mean, the TARDIS only travels in one direction, and that's to the left. Unless you're looking at it from the front, then it's to the right. Well, it's still to the left. Oh, I know. If you're looking at it from the f from the back, it's to the right. <coughs> I like this texture pack I have. It's very, very nice. But then, of course, I can just go all classical TARDIS. Because the classic TARDIS actually traveled just straight in the time vortex like this. Seriously, it did. I know it's crazy, but that was back in the days of black and white. Those of you who are actually old enough that you know what the black and white is, um, then you know exactly what I'm talking about, probably. Unless you don't know what Doctor Who is, then they go watch it. Yeah, in order for this to actually land and not take a chunk of the building off, you need landing gear, or shore buffer. For me it's just landing gear or docking port or something. So basically I'm just gonna need that. Um, I'm actually thinking of making this a bit bigger even though it's already big enough. I just kinda wanted to make it a bit bigger so that I can actually add a hatch. Unless of course I want to put the chest like where that torch, like right below where the torch is supposed to be, which is a bit idiotic. I don't think. Yeah, no, see? Doesn't work. There you go. So epic. And the air balloon doesn't look like that with the texture pack, it's Archimedes ships and boats. I mean, I could make this app out of, like, I could make the blue out of the lapis lazuli, and then have the top. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try that. Yeah, I got time. I got time on the camera. It's early in the morning. And lapis lazuli is TARDIS paneling. I'm gonna leave the bottom though, because 40 percent, at least 40 percent of the ship has to be air balloon if you want it to fly. And if there isn't 40% of the ship that's air balloon, 
It's not gonna fly. <laughs> Let's see if this flies. Oh, look at that. Still flies. Looks good. Kind of. Not really. No, not really. No. Mm. I don't know. And then I just come to a, an abrupt stop right there. And it just moved, didn't it? Kind of. The good news is, is that it's actually connected still. It's still connected. Now I need to put a hatch somewhere. Hatch, 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 hatch. Where's my room? My room is here. Ha! Perfect. And then I also need to put the TARDIS door and stuff in. Uh, circuitry. Hatch. There. Um, I am just going to show you guys the process that I have to go through in order to uh, make this little TARDIS work. Although I'm not going to put it here. My room is too small. It's way too small. Nick. Come on! I mm, think I'll put it... I'll have to put it right... Oh, whoops. There, see? It's not in the way of anything. You can easily get around it. It's perfect. So now I need some stone stabs. Do that. And then I need to get rid of that so that I can place the command block there. Okay. Oh well. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> what the crap? <laughs> That'd be funny. You could just troll somebody with that. Like, you have somebody right below your house. And then you just ask them to open, and you, you like, and you're like, hey, come check out the TARDIS, and they're like, oh, okay, and then they open the door, and then they just fall down, and, and then you teleport to the TARDIS instead. <laughs> oh, that'd be hilarious. Oh, I actually accidentally originally made it so that the TARDIS only teleports me. Like I said, I put in the command block slash TP and come kernel to the coordinates. So, you know, I go to, I want to show my dad, like yesterday I was going to show my dad the TARDIS, but it only teleported me instead. So he's like, um, it's not working. And I was like, ah, crap, I need to fix the coordinates. <laughs> There's a big fault in the TARDIS. <laughs> the TARDIS didn't like him. I don't know why, I just love to do that. Another nice thing is, is that you can just do this, and then, you know, the command block is there with the pressure plate, and then you can just step on it! And then when you leave, the door's just... I don't know, actually, it's uh, when you enter it, the door's just closed, and then, but simultaneously, you get teleported. Um... Okay, I can't really show you the ent how to do the coordinates this episode. Okay, actually, you know what, no, I'm just gonna... No. Yeah. Click that like button if you like this video. And if you're new to my channel, please click that subscribe button. Um, every now and then I send out just a whole bunch of videos at once. Like, um, I might have a gap of three days in each, in between like two videos like I do one video and then three days later I do another video but then after that I upload a new one and then another and then another in one day so sometimes I can just send out a flurry like just an entire armada of videos out um my phone is charging right now so that's why my setup is so that you're not like looking at me from here and you can see the windows it, so yeah <laughs> 
I don't know if you guys can actually see my room. No, not really. You're just staring at the ceiling. Um, what's the time on this? Yeah, I have to end the video here, guys. See you in the next video. Bye. Oh.